And how long does it take from that log being, you know, brought onto your lot to when it's finally ready to sell to the customer? So the general rule is usually a year per, per inch for hardwoods. Air drying before a kiln and then four to six weeks afterwards, even sometimes 12 weeks, eight to 12. Um, that's not always necessarily exactly how it works, but you know, I mean, minimum two and a half, three years usually. Yeah, and most people don't realize that. They think, oh, throw it in the kiln, done. Right, and, and that's it, how you get a lot of bad wood. Um, they'll think, you know, uh, almost, we get a, so sometimes we'll, we'll help people with kiln drying outside of uh, our product. And it's almost always like, hey, it was cut last week, I just want to throw it in the kiln. And I have to have that unfortunate conversation where they've invested the money in the wood and say, well, you're three years out from having this actually be a usable product. Can you explain why you need to air dry it for so long before it goes in the kiln? Yeah. Um, yeah, so the air drying process is pretty crucial, especially if you're trying to produce wood that minimizes tension, uh, you know, checking, defects, um, honeycombing, warpage, all that stuff, all the things that turns a beautiful piece of wood into firewood. Uh, you just need not really much of a substitute for just slowly drying the wood. There are some different ways to, to speed that process, but it's still, it's just not fast, right? And uh, you know, you get a piece of wood and you pull it out of the kiln, you put it together, and because it's been rush drying, it could turn into you know potato chip or surfboard or something that you didn't intend it to be, so.